yes everyone it's finally here the sportback version of the audi q8 in fact this is the audi q8 sportback e-tron i'm not entirely sure if this is what it's called so last time i had a chance to review the audi q8 e-tron and uh, we established that it has no connection with the audi q8 itself but it was a quite an interesting electric car nonetheless now this is the sportback version of it so Ideally, it's supposed to be the sporty version of the Audi Q8, but the sportiness is also in the trim level of this Audi Q8 e-tron. This has the S line to it. This Audi Q8 Sportback, guys, you get this sport kit to it, which equally means it has a more aggressive styling. So therefore, the air vents right here, which are real air vents, mind you, nothing fake, nothing pretentious, and then also the black effect onto the grill area. Now, I like this extra lighting you get right here above the Audi grille. Over here is your recharge cap, everyone. You have to push this button to open this, and there you can access it. And then to close it, you have to press this to close it back. And you get red calipers, everyone. And I always had this belief that red calipers pair very well with Audi models of all types, guys. Now, approaching the rear of this Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback, this is where the big differences emerge. Now, on the positive hand, it's very sportive, guys. And you even get a nice little spoiler right here. Quite interesting. Audi badge in black, guys. This is quite cool, the way they've gone about the design. Now, the rear lights, they have strong references to the Audi e-tron model itself. And I'm not talking about the Q8 e-tron. I'm talking about the original e-tron. Now, it's not enough to look stylish, guys. I had a chance to look at the boot space earlier and there was something a bit alarming compared to the Audi Q8 e-tron, the normal version, not the Sportback. So, compared to the normal version Audi Q8 e-tron, there is a lot of elevation right here. So, you have to lift things high up to put it in the car. So, whether it's heavy luggage or heavy goods for shopping guys and uh, the boot lip is good it's nice brushed metal and the body paint is not so much exposed because there is a bit of a slope over here so it is fine but when it comes to the loading level it is too high up guys and then if we move the goods inside uh, you get a you get additional space down there which is very good and a spare tire over there this is also for your repair kit that's good and the tail points over here are nice and solid audi is known to have very good quality leather points now to fold down the rear seats there's no latch over here guys uh i don't know what i have to pull there's nothing i can pull from here to fold on the rear seat now this particular audi q8 e-tron sportback costs 115,000 euros so give or take it's almost the same pricing as the audi q8 e-tron itself and that should not be any surprise because they share the exact same platform as the audi q8 e-tron now it is time to check out the interior of the audi q8 sportback e-tron or e-tron sportback guys uh so the interior is essentially very similar to the normal q8 e-tron there's not much change apart from the fact that this is a sport line so therefore it's made to be more sporty indeed first thing i'd like to mark is the s line seats they look very interesting but there's just something about them that don't feel as sporty as what bmw usually offers because if you look at them it's too soft because bmw m seats they really they literally hug you they literally cocoon you in place these seats are a bit hmm i mean they look sporty but they it, it, they resemble a bit to what Volkswagen usually gives to the Golf R. Well, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I like the quality of it nonetheless. So black leather with red stitching all over the seats. It reminds me of uh, watches for some reason. Now, speaking of trim, even your seat belt gets a, a red stripe on both sides, guys. So it's a black seat belt with red stripes. Quite interesting, guys. Very S-line-ish. Now, first thing first. First impression about the interior, very similar to what I've seen in the Audi Q8 e-tron. The steering wheel is sporty but it is at least it's not thick to hold on to because whenever bmw gives the m steering wheel they're super thick to hold on to they're like mountain bike tires whereas here in this audi q8 e-tron the steering wheel is appropriately sized it's perfect it's uh, it's nice to hold on to however despite it being leather wrapped it's very firm to hold on to guys it's not very squidgy so just something you'd watch out for you get pallets on the steering wheel, but the pallets are very, very small. You can only reach them from here, but I cannot reach them from above or from beneath and around here. I have to only, uh, I can only reach them from this position, guys, horizontally onto the spokes, the horizontal spokes. 
So that's that can be a bit questionable. And also another thing is, uh, otherwise on the bright side, you get three stokes for your Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback. The third stoke is dedicated to your cruise control, just like in a Skoda, guys. Quite interesting. Rest of the interior, very Audi-ish. So top infotainment system dedicated to your, uh, well, infotainment system, basically navigation and everything. The bottom infotainment system, the bottom screen is dedicated to your climate control guys so audi has gone very simple but not too simple they at least have some basic buttons to help you yourself navigate around even driving mode now over here is your transmission guys it's quite an interesting system i've noticed volkswagen group has developed a unique system for their transmission and i like the way they've gone about it very evolutionary but at the same time just well built guys now a bit of a problem and I, this is a problem I've noticed with a lot of car manufacturers these days. Sunglasses holders are gone. There's no storage space up here for your sunglasses holder, but you do get a panoramic sunroof. That's great news. When it comes to bottle holder and cup holders, Volkswagen has gone really interesting about it. So basically, they're adjustable cup holders. They can fold out. Well, you can have them out there for your bottle. Then there's a narrow storage space over here. And I'm assuming this holder right here is for your pen or something. Then there is also a 12 volt socket down here. Quite nice. Central console. Oh, central console storage is quite alarming. There's nothing going on in there. This uh, armrest is adjustable though, guys. So it's quite nice, but uh, hmm. anyways, you can reach the glove box from the driver's seat. That's good news. And I like the Alcantara cover it's got inside of it, but the glove box isn't very deep. The window buttons, on the other hand, are nice. I like the buttons itself, but otherwise there's hard plastic onto the area over here. Yeah, the hand door handle is good, but then on top of it, you have the leather. Underneath, you have the hard plastic. The door bin can fit my water bottle perfectly, and it can fit a big water bottle as well, for sure. And then you even get seating memory in that area over there. And the door bin itself is, it's good, it's deep average for its segment now both front seats are electrically adjustable guys very nice and steering adjustment is not electric unfortunately it's manually done but otherwise it's faster you can do it when you do it yourself it's faster is it just me or am i under the impression that something is missing about the interior of this audi q8 e-tron now it is time to check out the rear seats of the audi q8 e-tron everyone now because this is a sportsback uh, q8 e-tron Naturally, I was keeping an eye on the headroom for the rear seat. I have to say the headroom is not compromised at all, despite the sportback style to it. Now, it's uh, it's still very good. Headrest is very firm, though. Ah, my headroom is just about enough, guys, but otherwise it is fine. Let's see this area. Okay, so cup holders. Ooh, the cup holders are quite nice, very detailed. And they can, they can hold my bottle in place perfectly, guys. This is excellent. I like this. Now... When it comes to practicality solutions, I see a lot of advantages. So I see a nice door bin right here, very spacious, guys. And uh, I also see a nice little storage space right here. But speaking of this area, I see a little problem already. Um, despite its price and segment, I don't see any climate control. You get a nice air vent right here, guys, and that's already sufficient enough. You get a nice uh, door, uh, backseat pocket, guys. Backseat pocket is good. It's a net, so it's very flexible and durable. Ooh handles over here guys the handles are quite nice and you get a coat hook over there guys oh two coat hooks one here and one on the b pillar as well guys hmm quite interesting uh oh we have to talk about space guys so leg room is very plentiful quite nice and my knee room plentiful there's no uh, question over there now you do get isofix for the rear seats guys but there's already something you just have to watch out for the covers they go off so be careful not to lose the covers guys just uh put them back in place like this okay but try not to lose the covers because some car manufacturers have it as a um sort of socket so you know you can open it and it stays there so here's my conclusion of the Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback. It's becoming painfully obvious that this Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback only exists for competition sakes, guys. This is supposed to be a Sportback version, or should I say an electric version of the Audi 
Q8 itself, because the Q8 itself is a sportback. Well, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be related to the Q7, but it's like a sportback, which is more badder and sporty than the Q7. I personally think the Q8 e-tron looks better. At least that's just my opinion, because it looks nicer. It's more spacious at the back. You have more practicality solutions, and that too, it can be more family friendly. Speaking of value for money, I felt like for its segment and price, there were certain equipments that were missing inside. Like I still have my opinion to express of this Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback. I love this Audi Q8 e-tron Sportback. If you want a full-sized Audi Sportback SUV that costs beyond 100,000 euros, the best one would be the Audi Q8. But if you really want to go electric, I'd stick to the Audi Q8 e-tron, which is not the Sportback version. I'd stick to the normal version. But if you really want a combo, the Sportback plus electric, this is the car for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. I will see you all next time.